We're going to go to site three and then four. But our next site's going to be site three. We're going to divide you into three groups. So the five of you right over there. Right here, you, I mean, this looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Though so you can see there's, there's pieces of coal all through here. The whole stream bed is old coal. Not valuable coal, but it is coal. Here's a piece of coal. <laughs> so we're going to measure uh, a variety of things. We're going to measure the chemistry of the stream in various ways. We're going to measure how big the stream is. And then we're going to measure some of the, or we're going to take samples of some of the animals that live here in the stream. So when we see higher conductivity, what do we know about water? It's got some other ions in there, doesn't it, that are creating that conductivity. So I'm getting a conductivity now of 159, and June, you're going to be our recorder for this site. What do you measure to tell you the size of a stream? If you want to tell somebody how big this stream is, what are you going to measure? Width. Width, okay, that's a good one. We'll start off with width. But well, what else would you measure? Depth. Depth, okay, that's good. What else would you measure, John? How fast the water's flowing. How fast, the velocity of the water. So we can see it's running real fast there, but it's kind of slow up there, isn't it? What else? One more thing. The discharge. How much water is going down the stream? That's the most important thing. It's not as hard as. Oh, here you go. You made it well, I want to look at that. I probably won't know. Yeah. Well, we found something. We got a salamander, and that makes you use water here. Probably just a stick. There's a stone block. So we found probably three of the most important groups already stoneflies, mayflies, and diptera, the true flies. I appreciate it. Got him? Mm -hmm. Did I see him? I didn't see it. I don't know why your feet are turning purple. Okay. Okay.